In this video, we are going to be getting up close and personal as I show you how to wash your hair properly at home. Let's get started. I like to start by thoroughly brushing my hair. I'm using one of my favorite Olivia Garden paddle brushes. You can also use a brush that has uh, natural bristles. This is really good to help to stimulate the scalp before you start. Lifts off any product residue that might be stuck. It's also good to detangle and just gives you a nice fresh palette to start with. So the next thing you wanna do is make sure that you get your hair really wet. I've got lots of hair and you can see I'm lifting my hair, kind of cupping it making sure that the water passes all the way through. If the hair isn't all wet, you're gonna end up with some dry spots and it's gonna make the shampooing just not go quite so well. So I start by taking my shampoo and I emulsify it in my hands and then I just kind of blob it all over in a few different spots. So I have it on top, I have it underneath, and then I'm gonna go and just kind of get some on the sides and just work it through. Once I get the shampoo in there, then I'll start my manipulations. So I take my fingers and I move them back and forth, back and forth, interlocking in the center. And I do this all across the top of my head, just interlocking my fingers. I'm using quite a bit of pressure as well. Then I'm gonna go into the sides, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm going to take my fingers back and forth, back and forth, and until they interlock in the center. And you can just kind of keep moving up inch by inch. Then I'm gonna go underneath, lifting my hair and getting my nape area going up and down. I do find it a little bit challenging to get all the way to my ears, so I just do those afterwards. But the key in all of this is to make sure that you're getting the scalp. It's not really your hair as much as it is your scalp that you're washing. So you wanna repeat these manipulations two to three times before you rinse out the shampoo. And you'll notice that my fingers are underneath the hair and they're actually coming into contact with the scalp. A healthy scalp is going to create healthy hair. So this is why we do really wanna focus on getting the scalp really clean. Now you'll notice that I don't have a crazy amount of suds and that's totally okay. Your first shampoo is designed to remove dirt, debris, all sorts of things, <laughs> product and all of that. So it's your second shampoo that's actually going to wash or clean the scalp. So that's why it's always important to wash your hair twice. So you're gonna rinse all that shampoo out. Then you're gonna do it all over again. So you'll notice I have a little tub of shampoo. This is shampoo actually that I make myself. I've been using my own shampoo and conditioner that I make myself uh, for about the last four years and I find it to be extremely beneficial for my hair and a lot of friends and family that have used it as well. So I'm gonna go through for my second shampoo and I'm going to follow the exact same system that I just did. I'm just gonna change my position here so you can get a better look. So again, I'm going across the top, back and forth, interlocking my fingers, and you can see I'm using a lot of pressure or I'm getting a lot of friction. And that friction is really gonna help to activate the suds in your shampoo. And I'm starting, you can see I'm kind of getting it on my face. I'm starting really right at that hairline or just past it, because I wanna make sure I get the hairline good as well. And you can see now that there's a lot more suds coming with that second shampoo because I already got rid of a lot of the product that was in there. And so now I'm just really cleaning everything up really well. We can sometimes forget about our hairline behind the ears. And this is where a lot of sweat and that can get trapped. So you don't wanna miss that part. And then you're gonna make sure that you repeat all of those two to three times. And then I like to do some circle motions around my hairline. In the front, this is really good to get any makeup or anything that may have gotten into your hairline. So just doing those little circles and getting it off. And you can see that the shampoo, even though I focused on the scalp, it has gone right down through the ends of my hair. So you don't need to be scrubbing at your hair, you need to be scrubbing at your scalp. And then we just wanna make sure that we rinse it all out very thoroughly. If you notice that you have any flakes happening in your hair, it could be dry scalp. But a lot of cases, something that I've noticed with clients 
is, is that they're not rinsing out their shampoo properly. If you don't get all of the product out of your hair, it's actually going to dry on your scalp and it's going to create those little flakes. So really lift your hair, cup it up, move it around, do what you have to do to make sure that you're getting all of the soap out of your hair. Now I'm gonna just wring out all of that excess water because I'm gonna get ready to put my conditioner on. So I'm gonna take a nice little blob of conditioner. Always emulsify your products in your hands first so you don't just put a big blob in your hair. And you'll notice with the conditioner, I'm actually focusing on the hair and not the scalp. So conditioner is designed to go mid shaft to the ends of your hair. If you focus on your scalp with conditioner, what will happen is you're gonna end up with really oily, greasy hair because you already have natural oils up there at your scalp. So I just take whatever's left on my hands at the end and I just kind of rake it through the top. Normally conditioner will be left on, you know, anywhere from two to five minutes, depending on what you're using. Treatments will be left on a little bit longer. So while you're letting it set, shave your legs, do what you gotta do. And then again, make sure that you rinse it out really well. And there you have it, that's it. Now you know how to wash your hair at home. If you'd like to see the next step where I do a professional blowout at home, check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and have a great hair day.